Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Blue Lurker Shields, Nestle, Search, Post, Fast, Mini, Space, Fast, 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 I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today we're going to talk about Turkey. And we're going to talk about this uh, tape that's come out. Uh, very revealing. But uh, a little background first. Uh, the leader of Turkey, Erdogan, of course, has been embroiled in uh, corruption scandals. And uh, dramatically, the last week or so, he has uh, banned Twitter and banned YouTube. And uh, first of all, I want to comment on that. And uh, that's an interesting development because it shows uh, pretty uh, convincingly that uh, leaders are certainly aware of YouTube and uh, around the globe probably hate what YouTube does, uh, posting all their dirty laundry all the time. And of course, we love that sort of thing, but uh, they hate it. And uh, we love it because they hate it. So that's just uh, how it goes. And Erdogan is really no different than in all the other uh, sociopaths that run countries all over the world uh, being embroiled in corruption. They're there to enrich themselves and uh, write the pages of history. And uh, that's pretty much it. And so he, he's not really much different. Although I have to say, in this situation, he's not very bright. Because uh, the fact is that since he's come out and uh, made these comments about how outrageous it is that these national security tapes have been released on YouTube um, that essentially is a public uh, admission that they are in fact legitimate because there was some question about whether these tapes were legitimate or not and uh, now thanks to Erdogan we know that uh, they're pretty much completely legitimate and uh, so that brings up some uh, pretty disturbing uh, questions although there's some uh, very uh, fascinating aspects to this. And the first of all is the, the fact that we have this false flag event. We have Turkish officials talking about uh, working with John Kerry, no less, uh, to develop a fast, false flag event, which there would be a staged attack on Turkey from Syria, probably using Al-Qaeda elements, and knowing full well that it would start a war and an intervention. And uh, this false flag event is interesting because it also follows on uh, the heels of a uh, Syrian plane being shot down by Turkey. So the sequence of events is unfolding. And um, this also shows that Turkey and the U.S. are, are still looking for a way to uh, uh, escalate the situation in Syria uh, with the United States, uh, possibly an intervention. And, you know, at the same time, we also have uh, Obama uh, meeting with the Saudis uh, to clarify uh, what the policy is going to be with Syria and Iran. And then we also have Obama talking about uh, supplying anti-aircraft weapons to uh, the so-called opposition in Syria. So it shows that uh, the idea that intervention seems inevitable is back on the table. and That's certainly the way I have looked at it. And um, this is uh, also interesting to see this power play um, coming up uh, right after the uh, 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 Crimean incident because now Obama could, could, could potentially be a lot more uh, interventionist, a lot more dramatic, um, and justify it uh, somehow by comparing it to Crimea. Just a thought. So, uh, but one of the things that's most fascinating to, the, to me about this is getting a, being a fly in the wall, getting a glimpse of just how nonchalantly these plans are dis discussed, uh, how exactly to discuss them, what terms they discuss them in, and how aware they are of uh, how outrageous uh, this uh, these suggestions are, and certainly the, the suggestions in this tape about staging this uh, attack and blaming Al Qaeda is certainly as outrageous as they come. But uh, so here we have uh, uh, finally in history a, a direct example of officials discussing uh, uh, a, a potential uh, false flag event. Although certainly the Newland tape uh, uh, setting up new Ukrainian leadership. Uh, counts and, and there we have other uh, uh, versions of this as well. So uh, and, and this is important. I'm mean, watching the events in Turkey is certainly uh, eventually going to be even more important. We have all the uh, energy networks, the dependency on Russia for their oils and their energy needs. Uh, so they are uh, uh, caught up in this geopolitical dynamic that we see in that region that includes the Ukraine. And then we have the national dynamics in Turkey, this struggle between the Kurdish region, and then we have the struggle between the uh, secular elements 
in Turkey who have been in control for a while and the uh, more radical uh, Islamic elements there. Uh, tug of war with, that we see all over the region, although it's been generally controlled in Turkey. And then uh, one of the other uh, dynamics that we have that is important uh, to watch Turkey is they have an extremely powerful and large, well-equipped uh, military, and that's always a factor. And then their geopolitical location, strategically right there um, at that, at that uh, crossroads. And that's why uh, Turkey and the Ottoman Empire have always been a crucial element in a, a lot of historical events over the last uh, three, four, or five centuries. And, um, and then we have uh, NATO and the Eurozone. Turkey has aspirations to become a full-fledged member of uh, both organizations. And, um, and they uh, are halfway there. And, uh, and then the, the fact that uh, they have close ties with Israel now. Turkey has been aligning their uh, um, cards with Israel, and that's probably a smart play in their sense. If they want to cozy up to the United States and the Eurozone, the uh, best way to do it is probably to cozy up with Israel and tie their uh, foreign policy to Israel. But uh, the future in uh, 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 Turkey is uncertain in a lot of ways because we have all these dynamics, but it seems... Uh, the Erdogan, in spite of all the, uh, the, that's happened recently, is probably going to be reelected. And um, but uh, the, the to go back to this this tape, it's, it's clear that uh, the intervention from the United States or other uh, players in the region is still on the table, and that in spite of having all these false flag events exposed before, they're going to continue to try more false flag events, which is uh, hilarious and tragic in itself, that they'll keep uh, plugging away at these outrageous false flag events. So uh, so anyway, uh, I guess that uh, covers blown. They're going to have to come up with yet another false flag event. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.